welcome back to Nikki at your cervix it's your girl Nikki here and if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit my subscribe button turn my post notification bell on so you can get an update every time I have a new release and follow me on Instagram at Nikki underscore at underscore your underscore cervix for lots more interesting content so as our video title suggested today we'll be talking about UTIs. What are UTIs, their preventions, and home remedies to help you treat them? So what exactly are urinary tract infections? So this is basically, UTI is basically an umbrella term that encompasses infections of the upper urinary tract, which includes your kidneys, we call that pyelonephritis, as well as the lower urinary tract tract which possibly includes your bladder and we call that cystitis so the term uti is just generally used interchangeably with infection of these tracts so it's very important to know that UTIs are extremely common and lots of people get UTIs each year. And though UTI affect anyone, women are more prone to getting a UTI. Why? This is because we have the urethra, something called the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the bladder. Ours is shorter than those in men. So women have a shorter urethra and with the shorter distance makes it easier for bacteria to enter and reach the bladder so what symptoms can you experience when you're having a uti so well you can experience a burning sensation when you're peeing frequent urination so you always want to go to the bathroom a cloudy or dark urine urine with a strong odor you're like hmm my urine doesn't usually smell like this this smells off also, a feeling of incomplete bladder emptying. So when you pee and you're finished, you went, you go back to sit and you're like, hmm, it seems like I want to pee again. You're not finished. And another one is pelvic pain. So bacteria are the main common cause in 95% of UTI. But sometimes you can have fungi, which also cause the infection. Though UTIs are traditionally treated with antibiotics there are also several natural ways to help to protect you against these infections as well as reduce the risk of occurrence and this is what I'm telling you guys today so the first one I'm going to start with is to drink plenty of fluids so your hydration status is important it's a key link to decrease your risk of getting a UTI so this is because Regular urination can flush out bacteria out of your urinary tract to prevent the infection. So when you are dehydrated, you're not urinating as often, which creates a breeding ground for bacteria. So when you drink plenty of fluids, you decrease your UTI risk because you are peeing more, which helps you to remove more bacteria from out of the urinary tract. Another one is increase your vitamin C uptake or intake so a lot of evidence shows that increasing your vitamin c protect you against these urinary tract infection because they work by increasing the acidity of your urine thereby killing the bacteria that causes the infection so there's a lot of fruits and vegetables especially that are rich in vitamin c because oranges grapefruit kiwi fruit among many others and you can also take supplements as well and these are known to help with your utis another one is to drink unsweetened cranberry juice so cranberry juice has an active ingredient called proanthocyanidins and this basically helps to prevent bacteria from attaching to the urinary tract walls so when they can't adhere to the urinary tract walls you're preventing them and washing them away another one is to take probiotics so probiotics are very beneficial uh, microorganisms that consume that you consume through foods and supplements and they can promote a healthy balance of bacteria down there so there as i said before you can get them in foods like even probiotic yogurt you can check that out and they're also known to do other things like improve your digestive health as well as enhance your immune function another one is to practice healthy hygiene habits 
So the first thing to note is that it's important to not hold your urine for too long. This can lead to the buildup of bacteria resulting in infection. Another important thing to do is to pee after sexual intercourse and this reduces the risk as well and prevent the spread of bacteria. So always pee after sex. Another one is that when you use a toilet, especially when if you're a woman with a female genitalia, make sure you wipe from front to back. So if you wipe from back to front, you can cause bacteria to spread from your anus down to your vagina, which makes you more prone to getting a, an UTI. Another one is natural supplements. I'm going to tell you about four natural supplements. So the first one is d -manose. So it's like a type of sugar that is found in cranberries. And research show that they're effective in treating UTIs and preventing their recurrence. Another one is bearberry leaf. So studies have shown that a combination of bearberry leaf, dandelion roots, and dandelion leaf decreases UTI recurrence as well. Another one, cranberry extract. So like cranberry juice, the cranberry extract itself works by preventing bacteria from adhering to your urinary tract. And on the last supplement I'll tell you about is the garlic extract. So a lot of research has shown that garlic and garlic extract have antimicrobial properties which suggest it may block the growth of bacteria to prevent the UTI. So you can get garlic supplements as well as incorporate uh, more garlic in your diet. Another important thing to do is to wear cotton underwears. So wear underwears made from natural fibers to ensure your urethra stays clean and dry as possible to prevent bacterial entry. Wearing cloth that is too tight can block the airflow to your urethra and without airflow bacteria can gain entry and this is making a breathing ground for them and you can develop an UTI there. So wear clothes that are looser as well as clothes with less synthetic fibers because synthetic fibers like nylon can trap moisture and allow bacterial overgrowth. Another important thing to do is to do not douche. So the presence of any bacteria in the urinary tract does not mean the presence of an infection. You have good bacteria down there. And if you didn't know this, you learned this first year on the Nikki at your cervix on YouTube. So you learned today that there are healthy good bacteria down there that gives you a balance and a pH balance and everything. In addition, if you douche, you're basically saying, hmm, you're Im eliminating these good bacteria, which makes the bad bacteria more prone to growth. And this is also going to throw off your pH. So you don't want those bad bacteria to flourish. So do not douche. If you want to clean your vagina, just know that your vagina is a self-cleaning machine and you have discharge as well that helps to clean the vagina. Another thing to do is to switch soap. So your bubble bath, your body washes and other cleaning products may be the culprit of the UTI that you're having. So you can use sensitive formulas that are fragrance free down there as well. So if you notice that you keep getting UTI, these may also be your target. So check into that as well. Another important thing to do is to change menstrual pads, tampons, or cups frequently. So you can have low absorbency pads made of synthetic fibers or synthetic material can expose your vulva to bacteria and increase your risk of infection. Using a tampon itself can also encourage bacteria to develop faster. So it's important to remove and change this regularly. Menstrual cups can also increase your risk of getting worsening infection if they're not positions correctly. So you need to position your menstrual cup and your tampons correctly because if it pushes against your urethra and traps your urine in, bacteria can spread to your bladder. So changing the size or the shape of your menstrual cup can prevent uh, recurrent UTIs. 
Another one is to avoid spermicides. So spermicide is a type of birth control that is inserted into the vagina before sex to kill sperm. So these may cause irritation and remove the natural barrier of protection from bacterial invasion and you ultimately end up with an infection. So you can avoid spermicides and use other contraceptive methods. Another one is to apply heat. So having a UTI can cause discomfort or pain in the pubic area. So you can just have a heating pad or hot water bottles can help to just to just help soothe the pain in that area and are easy to use. So what you can do is just apply heat to the area for about 15 minutes and this can make a big difference for you. So the key thing to note is to ensure that the heat isn't too hot and the heat source isn't directly touching the skin to prevent any irritation or burning. It's not hot water, it's like warm water or warm bath to the area. Another thing is to eat less sugar. That your diet can be huge in preventing UTI since it's caused by bacterial infection. What you need to know is that bacteria love sugar. So the more sugar you eat, the more you're feeding the infection. So limit the amount of sugar to help limit the amount of infection that you're having. And the last thing I'm going to tell you about today are the use of essential oils. So essential oils like oregano oils, lemongrass oil, clove oil are important and are known to be antibacterial so they are effective at killing some bacteria so these essential oils are to be applied topically so on the outside surface you're not inserting this and you're not ingesting these oils so you're safely applying them a little around the area with a carrier oil so you can use a carrier oil like coconut oil or olive oil and you drop these oil in it and you apply it to the area to help form an antimicrobial barrier to prevent further infection. And if you do all of these rem remedies or if you do a lot of remedies and you notice that you're having a persistent UTI, go and get that checked out with your doctor for simple UTI medication and antibiotics that you can get. As I've always said and I repeat, when in doubt, check it out so drop it in the comment section below what do you use for your utis and do you get utis or have you ever gotten a uti before tell me in the comment section below and how did you treat it and if you have any other question drop it in the comment section as well and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to nikki at your cervix and follow me on instagram at nikki underscore at underscore year underscore cervix for lots more interesting content until next time see you soon bye